Hey everybody, today my brother and I went out to a couple flea markets near our house looking for some baseball cards or baseball memorabilia and we definitely were not disappointed. Coins. Bean bag toss. Let's see if Vance like one. How much that is. I'll take it. I had four of them. Thank you. Thank you. So appreciate that. Yep. Andy Van Slice Bottle. I got a Van Slice one. That's pretty sweet. Five bucks. I'd pay. I'd pay for that. Let's get this for Joe. How much are your bobbleheads? These two. This one's ten, this one's six. Okay. Bonds. That Ken Griffey and Bonds, there's two of those. That's a good one. Yeah, it's like that. Those price that's for a different place. Yeah. I, I price them based on where I'm at. And if they're going, if somebody's selling stuff for that at the place where I'm at, then that's where I'm priced on that. I collect bonds cards, so. I'm How much? Five bucks. What what do those we have one of those stored away but we don't what's that burn off of uh, wood or care or kerosene or what? I think it was kerosene. Yeah? Yeah. Honestly. What do you do for those bonds cards? How about fifteen? Do you twelve? I'd really rather not. Uh, Just because of that one. Pull that one out, I'll do 10. Yeah, I guess. This is the one that's getting me right here. This is killing me. Willie really Stars on Aaron. Yeah, because Willie really Stars on Aaron. you get those ones? No. Nah, I'll, 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 I'll take that one out. I mostly just like Bond, so I'll do, okay. it, I'll do it for 10. Alright. Thank you. Yep. Yeah, there's some 75 ones in there, but... No, I already have a few of that oh, one. Yeah. yeah. 91 Fleer. That's a good one. Yeah. All right, thank you. Seven bonds for 10 bucks. They're just sitting at that table. We had uh, Stargell and uh, I think Aaron was on there too, maybe. How much are your bobbleheads? Two bucks. Two bucks? Would you do two for three? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Mm, I don't know. Plus the box is a dollar, I wouldn't worry about it either. I don't know, it's this action baseball thing.
whole box for 20 to them. Bad shape. Whole box is 20. Yeah, yeah, there's a 54 Bowman in there? Where? 55? Yeah, that's an old one. It's like 54. 54 Bowman. Yeah, that's pretty sick. Bad shape. Box? What's that? Box? Yeah. How much is it? How much you want to pay? Um, honestly, these are in really bad shape, so I'd maybe do five bucks for the box. Seven. Saw a killer brew in there. Uh, just, ah. It's just, just tape on the cards. Is that Buckner rookie? Yeah. yeah. I think I might actually have to go buy those for seven. Really? I'll do it for seven. All right, great. Thanks. Have a good one. Go ahead inside. Yeah. There's usually maybe like at least two guys in here. See cards down there at the end. Anything good? There's some 400 count boxes of baseball cards over there for 75 cents each. That's mostly like 90s cards. The original filmation was Ghostbusters cartoon, maybe six. The other one, a fake Ghostbusters, we used to call them that. Yeah, I'm a fake, fake Ghostbusters. Fake Ghostbusters? Where are these from? 25 cents. Yeah, I'm getting it. Where's the, where's the really seller at? Barnard Commandos. Is it that guy down there? He's looking over here. What was that McDonald's car? Remember that? Right. <laughs> I'm about to buy. Yeah. Yeah, and, and, and the stick was half the fun. Yeah, that's what I'm going to I'm going to buy this car too. Yeah, I think EJ might like it. Got some cards. Bag Wagon. Dollar each. The cool one. I've never seen this one. I'm not a damn minor league club. Huh. I've seen a rookie for a buck. That's not bad. Yeah. How much is this? Yeah. This is in a dollar box. Is that five dollars or a dollar? Two bucks. Two bucks? Thank you for two bucks. There's a lot of football ladies. There's some, there's some more Pete Rose cards up there. 84 tops. 86 yeah. tops on there. Hey, thanks a lot, buddy. Thank you. Forty dollars for the whole book of ninety tops. Oh, there's some packs. Eighty cents. Eighty cents. About these ones. A predict predictor. Yeah, these are like all eighty cents. Here. All except for these. These are all dollars. No, eighty cents. So these are eighty cents. These are different. That's a dollar and a half. There's like 27 Would you cut me a deal if I bought a bunch of these? Sure. Would you cut me a deal if I bought a bunch of these? No. No? Okay. Well, I'll probably buy these series. Like predictor. What about the series two? Cheater? Yeah. Cheater could be in there. Could be some packs that open. I 
Oh, four bucks. Oh, four bucks? Yeah. That was six. Verlander. I don't see that too often. 16. Some binders back there, 25 cent cards. Yeah, we looked through that a long time ago. What do I owe you? Four seventy. I thought I I thought he'd work with you a little bit. I would have bought a bunch of them too. Yeah. All this stuff sitting here all the time, no one buys any stuff. He writes it all down too. I'm gonna buy a football. I need wants a football. How much are your footballs? Uh, eight dollars. Eight dollars. Did you do five for one? No. Alright, uh, I guess I'll take one. My wife's been wanting to throw football with me. Earlier before hitting up the outdoor flea market that you just saw, we stopped at one of our favorite indoor flea markets that usually has lots of baseball cards, and we wanted to see if they got any new inventory in. Grab this one. Twenty bucks. What's happening? Twenty bucks is steep for these. The Aurora. I. They might not be. If you check them out on eBay recently, so like this is pretty good for ninety-eight series two. Twenty bucks. I feel like that's usually a lot more for these late nineties. Oh yeah, for sure. But as far as these go, the crown. I don't know. Ah, check out recently sold and check them out. Because if they're like 30 or 40. No, you want to take them? I have a whole, I have a whole case of those still. Like 20, 24 boxes, 23 boxes left. Yeah. Oh wow, cool. Usually 87 is more than 89. 83 is 25. 88 tops traded for 4. I mean, that's not, those aren't terrible prices at all. No, they weren't, there's one here last time. This is the Bill Ripken era card. No, that's new too. Fifty bucks. He sell that seventy-one top set for nine hundred. Bob Feller, fifty-three tops. It's on the other side. I didn't see it. Ten bucks. Oh, yeah. well, that's a nice shape. That is in pretty good shape. Anything new on that one? Twenty bucks. If you did hockey breaks, you'd be set. Like, look at all these hockey boxes for like five dollars. Yeah, I know. It's pretty wild. Like that might bring you a bunch of new like subscribers. That's not something I'd always do though. That's not I don't know. Cards. Cards. Joe should do these. What is this? Michael Jordan. Yeah. And it's like the the good era with yeah, why, the. Why wouldn't Joe do this? Come in and get these and do breaks. Joe could do like a mixer break of hockey or. Two thousand five. 
That's not a bad price. Newer boxes for some of these breaks. Somebody grabbed his 85 Fleer box too. Did you notice that? 85 Fleer? Remember you had the 85 Fleer box two weeks ago? It's gone. Yeah, someone grabbed that. I'll probably try to buy that today after all about that one. Who's in 2005 rookie wise? I can't remember. 05? Um, is Verlander in there? I know Verlander's in 06 tops. He might be in 05. It's like a draft pick or something. Set. And he is in series two. Verlander rookies in that set. Ten bucks. Book that. Yeah. That's probably going to be a good box then. Yeah, I feel like there's usually like around thirty. You bucks should grab there. that one too, because then you get ten percent off. Save yourself ten bucks. Well, so six tops or eight clear. Either or. You need if you get to a hundred, you you save yourself ten. Let me say the last time he gives ten percent off, no matter what. Yeah, they did, but I don't know if they know that. They only they only give it to me if I spend over a hundred. Yeah. Huh. So if you spend over a hundred, be getting like th that for like fifteen. Chipper Jones headliners. That's kind of more than it. I gotta buy that. Who's this? Rifkin. I gotta buy that too. I mean, I've got I've got thirty here. You want to put it all together? I'll just give you 30 and yeah, you Here, why don't I give you this and then um, you'll, okay, get, what, you'll get the 40, discount. 65 and then 70. Yeah. So you need a $5 box. Yeah. I'll get the feller too. I'll get the feller too. See if there's any like Nolan Ryan's or anything for Jonathan H. So you just want to put all these together. I got 20, 30, 40 bucks. Yeah. Then we'll, we'll get the. Bucks. We'll get the discount. Here's 40, so that way you can get the discount. Yep. Hey everybody, we're back from those two flea markets, and I'm going to recap everything we got and look through this cigar box, which you saw me pick up for $7. Lots of old cards in here. Didn't get a chance to show them all to you on the video. Actually, I didn't even go through them all. Uh, before I bought it, I was like, you know, this isn't bad. These players, there's some good Hall of Famers in here, but the condition is bad. We'll see if there's any more surprises in there. But first, I picked up uh, at our first stop. I actually showed it last in the video. A 1998 Top Series 2 sealed hobby box here for 20 bucks. There's 24 packs in there. You don't really see these too often. Usually when we're out and about at flea markets, we see the $5 boxes from the early 90s and late 80s. So I definitely wanted to grab this for a future throwback Thursday. And then I also picked up at the... Uh, other flea market that we went to, a bunch of Barry Bonds rookie cards for $10. He originally wanted $15 because there was a 72 league leader, Stargell and Aaron in there. Um, but basically paid about, I don't know, about a dollar, dollar and a half a piece for these. Got an 87 Don Ross Barry Bonds rookie, another 87 Don Ross, and another 87. So three 87 Don Ross Barry Bonds rookie cards there. The 87 Fleer, which is one of the, probably the best 87 uh, Bonds rookie card out there in terms of value. Don't see this one too often, so if I ever see it for a dollar, heck yeah, I'm going to grab that. And I love this card a lot. 86 Tops Traded Barry Bonds rookie card. Um, it's an awesome card. Again, anytime I see this one, I'm going to grab it if it's cheap. Also, 86 Don Ross the Rookies Barry Bonds rookie card there with the nice stripes on his hat. And the other card that I picked up, the other single, was a 1953 Tops Bob Feller, which... Upon first view, looks just gorgeous. Um, the condition is, or should I say, the eye appeal looks great. However, if you let the light hit it in just the right fashion, at just the right angle, you will see 
a faint crease. Let's see if we can see it. Can you see it? There it is. Right across the uh, middle of the card, but um, from farther away, you can't really see it. It's not that visible unless you look closely. So I thought it was still pretty cool for 10 bucks. A 1953 Tops Bob Feller with nice corners uh, for a 53 Tops card, at least in my opinion. Had to get that one. And now the uh, main thing that I've been looking forward to is this cigar box. There's not cigars in it, though. There's a bunch of old baseball cards from the 50s and 60s and some early 70s. And there were a few Hall of Famers in here, so... There was a $20 tag on the box originally. I offered five, and the guy countered it seven. And um, I actually walked away because the condition of the cards was so bad. So, you know, I was like, you know what? I'll do it. Two extra dollars. I'm not going to lose the sale over two extra dollars because I'm sure somebody out there would probably like these cards. Um, as you can see, 70 tops. Looks like um, these cards were just abused. You're going to see some of them have tape um, residue on them. Even the rookie cards here. Back then, no one really cared if they were a rookie or not. They were just a card. And I don't know what the heck they did to these cards. It looks like they might have taken them and rubbed them on some concrete or something. But they are in bad shape. But still, we're going to see some interesting cards in here, like a 71 Gene Lamont rookie card. He was a manager of the Pirates for a while. Also a long-time coach for the Tigers. Um, let's see. Let's get to the Hall, Hall of Famers. Here's a Cubs card, still with the tape on there from 1971. Here's a Hall of Famer, a Willie Stargell 71. Again, in this condition, I could maybe, maybe hope to get 25 cents for that card. Maybe. Um, Willie Smith, Leo DeRocher. And then we have an old Bowman card here of Paul Minner. That's a pretty cool card. Anytime you get a really super old card like this, you definitely got to take it if it's the right price. Again, I could maybe get a quarter for that. We're also going to see some football cards in here, which I don't know anything about football, unfortunately. So if you guys can let me know if anyone's good, let me know. How about this guy, Phil Regan? He's still around. He's like 82 years old, and he is the pitching coach for the Mets. There he is, 1970 tops, Phil Regan. That's uh, pretty awesome that he's still going strong and a pitching coach. Steve Carlton, 1971 Topps card. That's pretty cool. Another Hall of Famer. Orlando Cepeda, 1968 Topps. Take that one. We have a rookie card here of Herman Hill and Paul Ratliff. Harmon Killebrew, 1968 Topps. Nice Hall of Famer right there. So as you can see, there are some good ones in here. Burt Blylevin, that's a 1971 Topps, and that is a Burt Blylevin rookie card, guys. Um, beat all up, but it's still a Bly 11 rookie card. Still pretty cool to have. What else do we have? Luis Tion. Nice one there. Then we have, um, let's see here. Get to the next big name that's recognizable. Some 70 tops cards, some 68 tops cards. Milt Pappas. Some 71. Dave, Dave Concepcion. You Reds fans will know Concepcion. I believe he's in the Reds Hall of Fame. Then we have Jim Palmer, 3D Superstars. This was from 1971. 71 Jim Palmer and a Book Powell, 1970. How about this? A 1969 Roberto Clemente is in there. Um, I actually didn't even see that card when I first went through it, but that is pretty sweet to get a 69 Roberto Clemente. I don't care that it's beat up and has a little bit of tape on the top. Um, that is awesome. Roberto Clemente, 69 tops card. Jim Bunning is a nice one. Um, let's see what else we have in here. Let's do these football cards. I don't know anything about them. We'll see if I can even recognize any of these names. Doug Buffone. Uh, Benny McRae. Ron Snido. Mike Howell. Um, I don't know any of these guys because I never watched football in my life. Dick Buckus. I recognize that name. Don't know if it's a rookie card or not, but it looks like it's early in his career, I guess. Let's see who else we have. Um, here is it. Craig Morton. It said something about Joe Namath on the box. Um, I don't know if that's still in here or not, or if somebody lifted that out of here. Dave Herman. Back to baseball. Jim Maloney. Pete Rose, 1971 tops Pete Rose. And Johnny Bench. How about those two? I didn't see those on the bottom. 
271 Hall of Famers right there. Looks like they are taped side by side by the same piece of tape there. I don't know. Somebody must have taped these all up on their wall. That's pretty cool. Um, at least they're crease-free. They're just really, really in poor condition. Like, if you got these graded, they'd probably come out to PSA 1 or 0 because they're just beat up. But still pretty cool. Let's do the next stack here. I don't know which card my favorite one is so far. Maybe the Pete Rose or maybe the uh, Clemente. They're both pretty awesome. There's Bill Mazeroski. Rookie card there. Matty Lou, Steve Blass. Bucko announcer right now in his last season. Doc Ellis. Let's see who else we have. Ken Singleton. It's a rookie card of Mike Jorgensen and Jesse Hudson. Be really crazy if there was like a 68 Nolan Ryan in here or something like that. I mean, it's kind of the right era. Lots of 68 cards. There's a Tom Seaver 71. And then Joe Torrey, 1970 tops. That's pretty nice. Seaver and Torrey, a couple more Hall of Famers. We have another super old card here of, who's this? Jerry Staley, another really old Bowman card from um, the uh, early 1950s. Red Sheen Dinst is um, pretty popular amongst Cardinals fans. Lou Brock, another Cardinal favorite. 1970 tops. Got a rookie card of Steve Hunts and Mike Torres. Jose Cardinal, Al Kaline, 68 tops. That's pretty cool. Another Hall of Fame right there. Some rookie cards there. Eddie Matthews, 68 tops. Another good Hall of Famer. Let's see what else we have. Any more surprises hiding out in here? Manny Mota, Bill Buckner rookie card. Rest in peace. Bill Buckner recently passed. And we have a few more left to go. One small little stack left. For some reason, there's an 88 Tops card in here. A lone 88 Tops card. I don't know what, what the deal with that is. But Jeff Torborg, former manager. Hank Allen got excited for a second. Saw the Hank and thought maybe Hank Aaron. Let's see. We have a rookie card here of Norm McRae and Denny Riddleberger. Haven't heard of them. Jim Lemon. Mike Stanley is our 88 tops card. Tom Greve, father of Ben Greve, former number two overall pick and 90s prospect. And we're down to the end there. Stan Williams. Rod Carew, 1970 tops. That's nice. Rod Carew, that's early on in his career. His rookie card was, I believe, 67 tops. Nice looking card there. Then we have Tony Oliva and Woody Woodward. So all those cards for 7 bucks. It's always nice to find an older collection like that from the 60s with some 50s mixed in. And uh, I'm glad I went back and bought it. I hope you guys like watching um, me go through those cards. It was fun to look through them. I'm probably going to wash my hands now because I just feel like these cards are just so dirty and in bad shape. Got to go sanitize, but... Still really cool. Some nice Hall of Famers in there. I think my favorite might have been the Roberto Clemente or the Johnny Bench Pete Rose. Some good stuff in there. Let me know if there's any good football players that are Hall of Famers or have any value to it. I don't know. If, I think if I put these all on eBay, I could probably get at least 20 bucks for them just because of the Hall of Famers. There's some people out there who don't really mind the condition like uh, I usually don't mind the condition too much. But it was a pretty cool little box. A nice little flea market find. So I hope you guys all enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. I, I hope that you take a minute and hit that subscribe button and uh, like the video and also leave a comment. Remember, we're giving away Major League Baseball All-Star Game tickets this weekend. All you have to do is be subscribed and like my videos and comment. Uh, and I'll pick random uh, commenters to be finalists. And we'll decide who wins that this weekend in a raffle. So looking forward to that. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. I hope you have a great rest of your night. And I hope you had a great weekend. I'll see you tomorrow.